one of the most significant and undisputed events that happened during the lifetime of the Prophet was the event of the cloak, or Hadithul Kisa. This event signifies the great virtues and importance not just of the Holy Prophet, but also his daughter Fatima, her husband Imam Ali, and their two sons, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. What exactly happened during this event? Although some minor details may have been transmitted in slightly different ways, the general event unfolded as follows. It was on one of the days that the Prophet was in the house of his beloved wife Umm Salama that his daughter Lady Fatima, who had made some food, decided to bring it for her father. When she entered the house of Umm Salama, the Prophet told his daughter to call her husband, Ali ibn Abi Talib, as well as her two sons, Hassan and Hussein. Lady Fatima went to get them and returned with them to the house of Umm Salama. When they arrived, the Prophet asked them to sit beside him, inviting each of them one by one to gather around him. Once they sat beside the Prophet, he placed a large woven cloak on top, covering all of them together, and he then began to supplicate, saying, O oh Allah, these are my Ahlul Bayt, so repel all impurity from them and purify them. Immediately after the Prophet made this supplication, the angel Gabriel approached the Prophet and he revealed part of the 33rd verse of Surah Al-Ahzab. This verse came to be known as the verse of purification. It states, Indeed, Allah desires to repel all impurity from you, O Ahlul Bayt, and purify you with a thorough purification. During this entire event, Umm Salama was standing on the side, observing what was going on. She requested of the Prophet that she should join them under the cloak, but the Prophet prevented her from doing so. Umm Salama asked, Am I not from the Ahlul Bayt? The Prophet replied, You are on the path of righteousness and goodness, and one of the wives of the Prophet of Allah. This significant event shows us that the Ahlul Bayt of the Prophet, who had been addressed in verse 33 of Surah al ahzab and whom Allah has chosen to purify and to distance impurities from, are restricted to Fatima, her husband, and her two children. The event also discredits the interpretation of those who choose to focus on the general meaning of the phrase Ahlul Bayt as being the family of the Prophet, in order to include other members of the Prophet's family under this verse, such as the wives of the Prophet. The event of the cloak shows us that whilst other members of the Prophet's family may have been righteous and good people, such as Umm Salama, this does not mean that they were included in Allah's divine decree.